good Saturday morning hopesters. Mm. About 8.30, I've been up for about an hour and a half. Dogs needed to go out and be fed, and Dominic needed to be fed, and I had to make Hudson's food. What are you doing? Walking back? Yes, I just turned it. I'm tired, just tired of that Astrid got in the trash. Yeah, Astrid got in the trash, but she didn't knock it down. She just got her nose in there and got out one of the pork chop bones from last night. Let's see if this girl's awake. No, still sleeping. No, you're awake. Hi, you ready to get up? Hi, Shaggy Bears, you ready to start your Saturday morning? Oh, I love when you stretch. Reach for the sky. And reach up, reach up high, stretch up high, there you go, woo, good stretching. I think that's seven times he said dad out there. Just a minute. Uh, apparently he left the bathroom door open, wanted me to close it all the way for him. <laughs> Sugar bears, you ready to get up and go have some breakfast? Mm hmm? Ready to get up and go have some breakfast? Yeah? Oh my goodness, let's go. We're not gonna do a whole bunch of kid videos today. We're gonna do something completely different. I've been wanting to try this for a while and I've got a guest uh, who's gonna help me out today. I've got some coconut oil here and I'll explain what I'm doing with that after I spread it out on this piece of foil and stick it in the freezer because I'm waiting on my friend to get here and this will give this time to freeze so that we can use it. At least 20 minutes has gone by. Nothing has gone by for you. I'm going to introduce Brad, who's my neighbor. Hi, Hi everybody. <laughs> so Brad's going to help me out today. Brad happens to be kind of a food expert. Brad is with a restaurant group called Ride and Drive Entertainment. So they have locations here in Kansas City area and in Iowa, right? In the Des Moines market of Iowa, yes. Des Moines. So if you are a Des Moines viewer, check out, what do you got in Des Moines? Union 29 just opened at Jordan Creek Mall. We've got Saints Pub and Patio and Taco Hangover. There you go, Taco Hangover. We're getting one here, right? Uh, absolutely, in October. Stoked about that. Tacos, speaking of tacos. So uh, we are gonna try doing Impossible Burger today. Uh, never tried this before. We're going to do two different sets. Casey is allergic to yeast and the recipe calls for yeast. So in this one, we're gonna do burgers. In this one, we're gonna do a burger and tacos without the yeast. All right. Uh, it's pretty simple ingredients. We have tempeh, which is like uh, it's soy, but it's I don't know it's like it's, seeds. Yeah, it's kind of like soy seeds. Never had it before. Never heard of it until I looked up this recipe. Nutritional yeast, plant protein, some beet juice, and some iron. And then we have some salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder over here. And that's pretty much it for the ingredients. And I'm gonna bet that the tacos turn out better than the burgers. I like tacos. Except I don't know how ground up this is gonna be. Cause you know when you do a taco, you wanna like break it into really small pieces so it fills the taco easy. Cause you don't want big chunks. I have no idea either, Dan. We're gonna We're find, gonna find out. out. So, all right, let's get started on this. Let's start with the burgers and then we'll do the tacos. That sounds great to me. Yeah. Okay. Are you okay. Drinking on camera? Well, I'm drinking because we're on take two now. So we started this. I thought that I had the camera going. For some reason, it didn't record things. Casey's over here on her camera. She's gonna film some stuff. And now we've got my camera on the tripod again. So yeah, I am. Uh, I'm having a drink. Brad, let's try this again. But it works out fine because batch number one of these was not good. It, it wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible. It was bad, but it wasn't was it terrible. Good? It was not good. It was not if good. if cows went illegal, I would eat that. But that's about as far as it goes. That's an extreme situation. But I think we I think we can recover. We definitely had about ten percent the amount of fat that we needed to add to it. We needed more, and it's coconut oil. So we have three things of frozen coconut oil going in the freezer now. So we're gonna up the fat content. Beet juice, which we already have here, and we've already actually added the iron to it, and we tasted it not on camera. Should we taste it again on camera? Well, you're tasting it again. I'll Dang. taste it again on camera. Let me just say this. It, I'm gonna drip no, it. No, 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 <laughs> no. Yeah. One drip. I don't trust him at all. This is gonna go bad. 
I'm his neighbor. This tastes like if you lost a tooth, you know what blood tastes like or a fat lip? Okay. So bad. It tastes exactly like blood. Uh, yeah. Oh, I did it on the first video. Oh, it's so bad. So. No, you have to Oh do my it. god. No. You did not get it. Do it. Okay, yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. It's, it's like you got punched Ooh. in the mouth without the pain, right? Right. Yeah. With the patties, we're going to use yeast. Casey's allergic to yeast. So instead of using yeast, we're going to use Parmesan on this side. Apparently they're pretty interchangeable. We've already done the beet juice right here, which we figured out this is plenty of beet juice for mm -hmm. everything. Put plenty of iron in it. And we've already put plenty of iron in it. In fact, it pretty much tastes like blood. Which is what we're looking for. It's a bad thing by itself, but it's what we're looking for. I still taste like my mouth is bleeding. This is tempeh. So it is a soy. <clears throat> it's like seeds. I haven't quite figured yeah, it's it out like yet. Soy seeds. Mmm. I, I keep thinking I have like a tooth bleeding or something. Let's do a quarter of it for the burger patties. There you go. Right? Yep. That, that should be enough for two sliders. That's plenty for two sliders. Okay. And then this we're gonna try out for the taco meat. All right, let's make All some right. protein paste. Let's do the yeah, let's do the burger patties first. We got Log. our unflavored no stevia protein paste here. In here. Put it in here. Yeah, not all of it because we want to use half of it with the half with the yeast and half without, right? Right. Okay. And we have our yeast. We don't know how much we're gonna use of this. We're just gonna it set a teaspoon in what we found. So yeah, that work, that'll work. Onion, garlic. Salt and pepper. Salt. What we learned from my first experience is the more the merrier on the seasoning. Yes, definitely. I think it, <laughs> Don't be scared. Do not be stingy with the seasonings. We want we want this to be really thick. What do you think of that? Yeah. A lot more yeah, Tasty a little, a little versus little, little, little splash batter, I think, right? I think this might be good. I think we want. Don't I don't know. You let me know. What do you think? I think you need a little splash more so you get the seasoning and the yeast and everything working mixed up more. There we go. Yeah, that's all you need. Yep. Yeah, there we go. All right. I think we're gonna get our color right first. Our beet blood. And let's not pour it. Let's. <laughs> yeah. Give me a spoonful there. All right. Let's. Let's do two of these. Yeah. Mix it around. What do you uh, think? I think we need more. One more? I think we'll stick with that. Now let's add this one spoon at a time. Mommy. Right? Mommy. There we go. Another. No. I don't want to go too much because no, we got too right grainy last time. Might need a hair more beet. A little more beet? Okay, so what are we forgetting, Dan? Our what coconut oil. What makes beef great? What fat. fat. Grab one. I'm gonna chop up. It says a cup, but we need like a half a cup because we're only using. What I read was about 20%. Right. So. Doesn't this look like about 20% of that? It might be a little heavy in my opinion, Dan. We want it to be heavy though, right? Or do we? Yeah, I think we want to shoot for somewhere around 20%. Okay. Now, look these at those are fat looking globules. like fat chunks, right? What do you think, Brad? All of it or third half of it. it? A third of it. Okay, here. More. I want that middle section. All right. And fat. Oh, yeah. Look at that, Dan. I feel like... Nope. Calm down there, Captain. Yeah? What do we think of Brad? It's not quite holding together like I want it to. We might need a hair more protein. A little more protein. Just a little bit more. See how it's okay. kind of falling apart? You want yeah. that to stick together. This is our binder. Okay. All right, let's bind that up. It feels like ground beef now. Does it? Two patties out of that? Well, we can make two. More patties. fat. Heck with it. More fat, the better, right? Any more beet juice? I think so. You think? I'd like okay. half a spoon. All right. It does need to be a little more red, doesn't it? 
That was definitely not half a spoon, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Too ruddy? Dang it. Too ruddy, isn't it? Maybe not. This is... It's looking... It's looking good. I'm, I'm going to start the stove. Okay, number one. Okay, think it'll firm up when we cook it? I think. I mean, that looks like... From over here, it looks like ground beef, Dan. Okay, well, let's okay. mix up some uh, taco meat while we're Yeah, let's, let's mix. Yeah, good idea. Okay. okay. And we got to get rid of this because we can't have the yeast in it. I got faith in the taco. There's very few tacos that have let me down in It's my life. pretty hard. But you can have pretty crappy meat and make tacos out of it. That's what I'm saying. There's <laughs> <laughs> tacos that let me down in my life. Right. We're adding more color. We're going for the taco meat while we heat up the pan. Throwing them in, see how they come out. So we add some garlic and salt. We definitely got it sawed. I mean, yeah. you season burgers when you fire them down. Taco seasoning, Fijita. taco seasoning, lime, chilies, awesome. Find it at your local Mexican definitely. market. Definitely. Chili powder, cumin, cayenne, spicy, just a couple dashes, and a bunch of onion powder and salt and pepper. Always salt and pepper. How's it looking? Smelling better. Oh, look at this. It's definitely smelling better. Oh, yeah. Look at the fat coming out of that. Yes. So you can see the difference in the seasonings in this one. A lot darker. Next More binder. I'm not going to lie, Dan. This looks like beef tartare. Yeah. <laughs> but no beef. <laughs> capers, some parmesan, we're on to something here. Put it on a cracker. Okay. All right, you know what, you what makes taco meat amazing, Dan? What? Fat. Fat. So here's the rest of what <laughs> this we looks just like beef. used. This is impressive. How's that going over there? Oh, let's check them out here. While I chop up the fat. Ooh, ooh, we got a little crispy there, but you know, we're learning here. Ooh. That's not pretty. I'm sorry. We got our pan a little hot, Dan. Too high? Down. Too high? A little too high. Okay. It's okay. We'll back off a little bit. A learning process. That's okay. I would eat that. Yeah. That's all right. Let me know when you think we have enough fat here, Brad. I tell you what, I this <laughs> it looks like beef. Weird. Weird. We are styling in the fat department over here. Okay. I don't think we need this last batch. Okay. Oh man, look at this guy right here. He is just looking delicious. I think uh, it's time for Dan to have himself a burger. A plate. Do you want melted cheese on it? Yeah. The extra crispy one gets the cheese. Alrighty. What? We need a little lettuce. <laughs> the true veggie. Where's the bun topper? The bun topper. Ketchup mustard for Ketchup you. Ketchup mustard. mustard for me. Do you also want? Mm, yes, sir. Okay. You got the other uh, bun topper, Dan. It was there? Oh, here it is. All right. Nope, other way. I, was I don't want lettuce and tomato. Oh, <laughs> did I get it wrong? I was gonna feed him. That'd be full on two veggie burger for me. It's falling apart. All right, what does it look like? What does it taste like? It is much better than our first go. Still, a little pasty. It has the consistency of a crunchy refried bean. It's pretty good. But but taste-wise, it tastes like a burger. It's mushy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> My theory is taco meat's gonna be better than the burger. So much better. <laughs> so much better. <laughs> it just doesn't have the 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 bite. Can of water can build it squeeze everywhere. Out. Here, yeah, well that's my point. Here, look, come close. It it mushes. Ew. I've had worse burgers the texture, at more popular restaurants. I mean, I would eat this. I won't eat a Boca burger. I don't like black bean burgers. I think they taste terrible. They taste nothing like a burger, although the texture is really close. This is the other side of that coin. <laughs> where it tastes so much like a burger, but it's mushy. Uh, I don't know how to make it less mushy. The texture is off. Okay, let's make some tacos. Looks like ground beef mixed with some onions. I'm about to cook this off. Be We're... fattier? Is it taco meat usually pretty fatty? Would you like some more fat? No, but let's add more fat. Let's add more I fat. mean, fat's where it's at. I think they call this a 60-40 blend. I feel like this is going to be the win. I'm down. I'm down. 
Brad, how, how much taco meat have you cooked in your life? 973,000 pounds. Sorry. We might have to drain this before we make a taco. I mean, damn. It's gonna be a greasy taco. I mean, it looks like I'm cooking beef over here right now. That's crazy. Right, let me chop up this. The problem is, everything I know about cooking is that it's not changing its appearance as it cooks. <laughs> I know it stays red. Yeah. Because we dyed it. It doesn't quote unquote brown. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, delicious. Way better than the burger. That's doable, especially in a burrito because the refried beans would hide the texture of the soybeans. Now you can see the seeds. Looks a little less yeah. like beef. A little more separated. We've taken the grain and turned it the soy and turned it into a delicious taco filling. So, Casey, I got lettuce and tomato over there for you. Yeah, Press up the yeah, taco. It's gonna be hot. Mm. It tastes different than meat, but it's good. Would you eat that as a taco? Yeah. If you couldn't have meat? Yeah, and it doesn't. It doesn't I have a taco really restaurant. I'm thinking about putting this on the menu smooth. as hey, our veg vegan taco. I mean, that's a really smooth, um, creamy kind of right. Texture the texture's it. nice. No, it's good. It's it's almost like a bean. Like right. just a bean it's like a taco. Lagoon. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Right. It's delicious. It's really good. <laughs> I I don't care that it's not meat. Eating a mushroom taco, eating a cauliflower taco, you know, you know it's not. Mm -hmm. Tacos? I am impressed. Dan, I did not think you were gonna impress me today. This is, um, well, I'm having seconds. <laughs> I'm going in for another one. I knew the taco would be the way to go. The impossible taco is way more of a hit than the impossible burger. So why is it's Burger fun. King doing this and not Taco Bell? Taco hangover, here we come. Taco hangover, exactly. <laughs> it's really, really, really delicious. It is. I think it's gourmet enough too that uh, a wider variety of audience would eat that. Absolutely. All right, Brad, we're gonna end this video. Well, I have a whole taco and you're eating the rest of your second taco. That's awesome. This is better, does it look like a right. taco? <laughs> it looks like a whole taco. So remember guys, uh, you can totally do this with essentially four ingredients, I mean, Seasonings don't count, right? This is actually really impressive. I'm gonna do this again. This is my dinner tonight. Yeah. So remember guys, to the world, you may be one person, but to one person, you may be the world. So go be somebody's world and go make yourself some meatless tacos. Impossible tacos. <laughs> Cheers. Impossible.